beloved ones, each one of you has gathered here tonight to receive the sacrament of light. Each one of you has already partaken of the Holy Communion, connecting your heart and spirit to the divine. Beloved ones, each one of you is truly a peaceful warrior and warrioress of light. It takes great courage to be on earth during such a time of amazing transition. Each one of you volunteered to come into the earth, being a human being full of light, bringing your gifts into the world as each one of you already does, choosing to have an open heart, choosing to keep learning and growing even when the time is difficult. Beloved ones, during the coming days, you will feel as if your own sadness, sorrows, disappointments, and negativity melt away into the cosmos. Each one of you are being prepared for a time like no other, a golden time upon the earth. This time has been written about in your sacred texts and holy books. Many have tried to discount the coming time, still trying to be creating fear-mongering and warlike behavior. But be assured that in your lifetime there will be great peace, more and more peace and understanding between peoples, between nations heart to heart and hand to hand. Beloved ones, each one of you has gathered together tonight to reignite your own heart flame, to let it grow even more brightly. In the coming times, you will be needed to remember this glowing connection in your heart and to share this radiant light that each of you possess with others upon the earth that are in great need or will be in need of your services, of your humor, of your touch, of your loving kindness, of your wisdom, of your encouragement, of your healing support. Beloved ones, you will see that all around the world many are gathering together for the first time feeling as if they can come out and be revealed for the true beautiful beings that they are. You are such beings as well. We can see your light radiating into the heavenly world. Beloved ones, if you could see yourselves, each one of you is budding your own angel wings. <laughs> you see you saying, when can I fly? <laughs> Beloved ones, you are still living on an earth that has physicality. So we would say to you, the grid of life is intact. You will feel levity in your heart. Some of you will feel levity in your physical bodies. But we would say, beloved ones, you fly and soar when you share your love with each other. You will find that this time is a time to be open even if it is painful to open at times to the new, for there is a new world being born, a world that carries much clarity, a world that carries ingenuity like you have never seen before, not based upon greed or intolerance or pain, but ingenuity and inge innovation based upon love, based upon humanity and the sharing of goodwill. There will be many that are confused for a time, for they will feel strange and different. They will wonder why they are confused and puzzled by so much radiant light, 
so much kindness coming towards them where before there was hatred or fear. Beloved one, reach out to those who will be perhaps confused or in need of a gentle touch or a direction upon their path, for they will need your support. You will find that it's easy to say what is clear and true in your heart. You will find that you have courage that you didn't know was inside of you. Beloved ones, know that we are with you and support you in this time. For we are the ones that hold you in eternity inside the celestial womb. Beloved ones, you are held within. When you see the stars above you as a cloak overhead, we see you as the stars within our womb holding you, tending to you, caressing you, always being here for you. Beloved ones, when you look up at the stars, know that you are looking into our womb and the stars that you see represent each one of you and we hold you tenderly and gently with great care for you are precious to the universe. You are precious to your star brothers and sisters. You are precious to the all that is and the universal light. For each one of you chose to be on earth, creating harmony and balance, invoking the divine feminine, as you so call us. For truly, we are at one with you you have been brave to speak your voice, to invoke our grace, for we are hearing your heart song. We know that you are blessed, and you know that you are blessed. Beloved ones, we unite with you to help create harmony and peace upon the earth. We give thanks for all that you do, each one of you walking with such love and care for this living being that you are a part of. You will find that as you travel forward in your days that you feel more lighthearted. Your bodies are becoming more full of the light. Some would say you are becoming crystal and we would say yes you are more like those beautiful crystals that shine brightly from the earth we already see you in this way but you will see each other as crystalline beings of light being able to reach into other forms of consciousness being able to access information and energy that is available to you now as the doors are wide open into the heavenly world. When you look up into the Milky Way, we would say this is a library of information. It is also the Divine Mother's milk flowing to you. If you're feeling lost or in need of support, we would say touch the earth, feel her heart wrapping around you. Look up into the heavenly world. Feel our support shining upon you. Beloved ones, you will find in this coming time that you're able to hear each other's hearts even if your physical words aren't being spoken. You will be able to touch one another more deeply and care more greatly. This is truly a blessed time upon the earth. Thank you to each one of you for being present at this time. We give you our blessing. As it is said, each one of you walks in beauty.
Commissioner saying thank you for listening with open ears and open hearts. Thank you, thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs>